This year, Charlie and Joe let their first group of cattle out of the shed on the 25th of February. Today, I'm on the farm of Charlie and Joe Kyo in Legan, County Longford. Charlie and Joe have long realised the benefits of getting young cattle out to grass early in the spring in terms of increased weight gain and reduced costs. This year, Charlie and Joe let their first group of cattle out of the shed on the 25th of February. Savings are to be made when cattle are out on spring grass, they no longer have to be fed expensive meal and silage, but the big win is in terms of improved animal performance. The target weight gain for weanlands in the shed over the winter is 0.6 kgs per head per day. When these cattle are turned out to grass, they can quickly achieve up to and exceeding one kg per head per day. Therefore, the earlier these cattle get out to grass in the spring, the heavier they will be later on in the year. Grass that is most nutritious in the spring. Therefore, we need to make use of this by having cattle graze as much as possible during this part of the year. Waylands or yearlands are the ideal cattle to target getting out to grass first in the spring. These cattle are light, so will cause little damage if ground conditions deteriorate during wet weather. Also, they consume relatively little grass as they are still young. When letting these cattle out, target a dry day. Let them out on short grass for a few days if possible to help them adjust to grazing and also to avoid them tramping heavier grass during this time. Remember, spring grass is a highly nutritious feed. Get your young cattle out of the shed as soon as possible.